Hey everybody, Steven Universe is owned or created by Rebecca Sugar and owned by her and Cartoon Network. Let's get into mindful education today. I forgot to put the title card. Oh well. Um so I like this episode. It was a good episode. Um, it starts out with Connie is going to train and um Steven answers the door with bald head. I mean I instantly assumed it was just a bald cap, you know. Steven seems like the type of person to do that, um, but, uh, he goes there and he starts making jokes, of, and he an answers the door for Connie in the bald cap, she doesn't notice it, she just walks in kind of depressed like, um, and he's still trying to get her attention with it, making jokes about it, um, and oh, she doesn't really acknowledge him, so she, he has to kind of just yell at her about it and she asked what happens and he said nothing it was just a joke and Pearl and Garnet come in Pearl was talking about the fact that they're I think I believe that this is their first fusion training session I believe I'm probably wrong um but Garnet was gonna sit in she made a sign which she called a fusion sign just cause it had two sides um and so and yeah, she called it a fusion sign. One side was for Steven plus Connie, the other side was for Stevani. And they go there, and the, fir the first thing they're going to do is fight a hollow f pearl fusion, which is interesting. I wonder if this actually affects how. I wonder if this hollow pearl is a resemblance to how two pearls would fuse, or two gems that have. Their gemstone in the same spot would fuse. Because what happens... I mean, they're holograms, so they can do anything they want to in terms of their body. But I'm just saying, because they do a weird little robotic dance. They fuse, and there's not two gems. There's only one. But again, it's probably just because it's a hologram. They probably didn't even need to dance to fuse, honestly. But regardless, they fuse. There's a big hollow pearl and says that she's gonna kill the children or whatever and so Steve and Connie do kind of a little dance of independence they don't really it's not really choreographed together um and then they just kind of go back to back and hold hands turning into Stevani and kind of doing an anime-esque I mean I don't watch anime so I don't know but kind of a over exaggerated summoning of weapons she kind of just puts her hands out shield and close up and pulls her blade and says let's dance blah blah um, oh, by the way, in case I've already said it already, and I know I will later in this video, I call Stevani a she, because all gems except for Steven I refer to as she. I call Smokey a she, and I call Stevani a she, just because they're genderless. Stevani is genderless, but like all gems, but all other gems are called she's, so that's my logic behind Stevani. I, I mean, even though the Cruniverse, I'm getting too far in this. I'm calling her a she just because it's easier for me. Um, so Stevani, she kind of fights the Pearl a little bit, um, and the Pearl kind of attacks. So what Stevani does is she jumps in the air and kind of scampers her legs a little bit, showing that, showing that Steven's powers does carry over, but it is a lot of work for for Stevani to activate him. So she's kind of scampering her legs and kind of floats. And, you know, obviously Connie and Steven are surprised that Stevani has him. And they're like, oh, Stevani has floating powers. But anyway, they go to attack Pearl. And then something I actually like, which is kind of an insight to what fusions see. I've always wanted to see kind of like an in the mind of a fusion, even though there is no real mind. Um, I've always wanted to see that happen, and it kind of shows that us that in this, because uh, Stevani lunges at the pearl, and then a uh, some kid appears. Stevani says, "I'm sorry," and then unfuses, and Connie goes, uh, and then Pearl and Garnet run to make sure the children are okay. Then Connie runs away crying. And then Stephen goes to check on her, and um. Steven's like, what's wrong? And Connie, apparently, at school, um, got bumped by some kid on accident. 
and as a result of Pearl's training, took that as, like, just kind of instinctively took that as an assault, picked him up and flipped him over, which broke his arm, apparently, but we don't find that out for a while. Um, and, you know, they kind of talk, and then Garnet comes, and being a permanent love fusion, she's going to know how to handle a temporary love fusion. And, um, uh, so they're on the beach now, kind of just calm and everything. And she, Garnet tells Stevani to do some weird thing, to breathe and calm her mind and everything. And, uh, because of this, uh, they get transported into, again, like I said, I think these aren't the mind of a fusion, but it's kind of how a fusion shares memories with its components but they're kind of sitting there and Garnet starts singing um, a song that Rebecca Sugar uh, sang at a convention which I honestly it like the song sounded so familiar I did actually hear a clip of Rebecca Sugar sing singing it so that clip sounded so familiar I thought it was an Estelle song so I was like kind of confused but um, I know how it has been said that Estelle wants to sing in, in Steven Universe because, you know, she is a singer. Um, so Garnet starts singing Here Comes a Thought, and it's a good song. And it shows kind of Sapphire and Ruby kind of standing there, kind of calm together, and then a butterfly upsets. It's like a little light butterfly. It's not a real butterfly. It's like a mental butterfly. Upsets Ruby. She goes off chasing it. A bunch of butterflies surround Sapphire, and she kind of... Wipes her hair out of her way and watches them. And I don't know what's going on between them, honestly. All I know is Ruby's mad about something going off on some sort of personal vendetta. And Ruby's upset about something. I think I actually saw something that was talking about how I wonder how many times uh, Sapphire has seen Ruby gotten who get gotten getting I don't know has seen Ruby poofed or shattered in the future and you know that's kind of some people think that that's what's going on because you know there was a commercial showing this part but bleh. and all those butterflies symbolize kind of visions into the future and Ruby sees this one that's possibly like oh an enemy returning so she's all upset about it I don't know it's confusing um but Regardless, that's kind of going on. Ruby, or uh, Sapphire starts to cry. Ruby takes a breath, goes back, cheers up Sapphire. Then the butterflies fly to the other side of Stevani and Garnet. Um, and Stevani sings. Got chills, don't respond when I saw it. I told you what. I don't know, I'm talking like this. Um, but yeah, it gave me some chills when she started to sing. And so she sings, and it shows, you know... Stephen and Connie. Connie's upset. Stephen's kind of worried about her. Blah, blah, blah. All the butterflies surround them, kind of scaring them. Big butterfly appears, and it shows the flashback of Connie flipping the kid over her and how she run away embar she runs away embarrassed and burst. A little bit... L and then a little bit later, it shows um, Sapphire, Ruby, Connie, and Stephen all laying down, which are the so far... The only four characters who, who we have seen in one of the two love fusions. So, I guess it stands for, for something, I don't know. But basically, um, Stevani is calmed by this and, you know, realizes that everything's going to be okay. Cuts to the next day. Steven's just kind of chilling, waiting for Connie to appear for their fusion training the next time. Connie busts in the door. Uh, excited because she apologized to him and it shows the kid in the cast which is what I was talking about earlier um <laughs> and um you know Steven's glad for her and apparently the kid was okay with what ha well not okay but you know, understood what, with what ha understood what happened and Connie says something which leaves Steven thinking yada 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 they go back to fight, start doing a little bit better, take out, I think, three hollow pearls. 
then lunge at the last one, only to enter the kind of nightmare state again, which is um, technically uh, Steven, Steven's, Steven's PTSD of all these things that he's seen and heard. I mean, Connie's thing was just her feeling bad, but this is um, not just Steven feeling bad, but kind of being traumatized by these certain things, because it's... It, um, they stab Bismuth. It's not, obviously not really Bismuth, but it is Bismuth. And you know that that's Steven because he had to kill Bismuth. Not kill. Kill would be shattering her. <laughs> anyway, um, she starts kind of having a conversation with herself. Um, Sabani does. Garl says to... Garl? What the f... New Garnet... Garnet Pearl shipping name. Garnet... Um, set tells her to breathe, so she does. Um, I might be going out of order. Anyway, all of a sudden, Jasper, kind of corrupted, appears, you know. Um, Stephen is kind of talking first to Stevani again, because they're ha the Con Stephen and Connie are having the back and forth talking through Stevani thing. And he talks about how I want to help her, and then Ruby's there, and then, or Eyeball, Eyeball Ruby is there big, obviously, because it wouldn't be scary if she was tiny, um, and there's big eyeball, a bit of an oversized Jasper, and I think just a normal bismuth, all surrounding Stevani, and Stevani's just like, I tried to help them, but they wouldn't accept it, blah, 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 um, and so I think this, and then they all kind of explode into butterflies, these butterflies then form a cloud of a kind of evil looking Rose Quartz because she's angry but has kind of a smile like she has angry eyes, happy smile um which is obviously him thinking about her as kind of evil because of shattering Pink Diamond um which is you know that's how the community saw her which I don't like I mean she meh, but we'll go into that later um they back off the Sky Arena, fall down, unfuse. Steven's crying and feeling bad about these things that he's never really thought about before. Um, Connie tries to calm him down and says, Oh, don't worry about those. You gotta accept it. But, and genuinely, at this moment, I thought Stevani, not the fusion, but the ship, would finally be a little confirmed. And by this, I mean I thought that they were gonna kiss. Because I believe Connie should be 13 by now. Um, and she she's calming him down. And I thought she was going to be like, don't focus on all the bad things. Um, and I thought she was going to say something like, focus on the good things. And I thought because of this, Steven was going to look at her realize that he... Or not realize, but you know. And just submit to the fact that he loves her. Kiss her. And then they're going to fuse. But... No, he's just like, okay, they touch heads, fuse, and are able to softly land. Stevani just kind of lays down on the ground about how happy she is to be her, I think. It's something about being happy. Um, and then it ends. And something I want to talk about in my next minute is the little yellow quote-unquote diamond symbol on Stevani because of... Uh, Connie's attire mixed with Steven's shirt. Stop. People who speculate that, they're not... Make it a theory. If you dare use head headcanon, I hate headcanon. I'm fine with theories, because there are because in theories, that means you are open to being argued with, and you use facts. Headcanon is, oh, look at this, look at this dust on the ground. Illuminati confirmed. I mean, I might make a video ranting about it more, but... Yeah, it's not a yellow diamond symbol. If it is, well, fuck me, but who gives a shit? We'll wait and find out, alright? Okay, anyway, bye.